it's going on as fast as ten thousand dollars per month so what it do that right there was just jamming out to some chill stuff type music but right now we're gonna dive into this academy welcome to the video it's your girl chanel stevens i'm back again with another video guys i'm not even really trying to play around with this video like i literally want you to take action after this video a lot of you guys gonna get on this video you gonna just watch what i gotta say you probably just gonna go on to the next thing but you're watching this for a reason clearly you're interested clearly you want to make money online clearly you're looking for what to do the exact things to do to be able to make this possible for yourself but what happens is you get so distracted throughout the day that you're not taking action you're not doing what you need to do so that's why i make the type of videos that i make so that you can actually follow along step by step do exactly what i'm saying and you can get results for yourself so let's just dive right into this video because you came on this video to get a clear step-by-step -step process on what exactly you need to do to make ten thousand dollars per month right and i'm gonna give you the blueprint in this actual video okay so first things first is the setup the setup is going to be you making sure you're in CPA networks. And yes, I'm starting from just no CPA networks because believe it or not, guys, some people book coaching calls and everything with me and they're not even inside of a network yet. The first thing you guys need to do when you get off this video is apply to two to five different CPA networks. All right. Go to fpayin.com and just find the top CPA networks for the different type of offers you're trying to run. Right. And apply. And it can, it's okay that you're a newbie and you're, it's okay that you might get denied. You might get denied. God, I've been denied from CPA networks and I'm a whole super affiliate. Don't be scared of getting denied from CPA networks. There's so many out there. You can go direct to advertisers. Like you don't have, it's, it's no worries about getting an offer. There's plenty of offers out there. There's no offer scarcity. It's not no one best offer that you have to have in order to make money. Don't think and lack mindset. Think in abundance. There are tons of offers crushing it for affiliates out there and you will find an offer for you and you will find an affiliate network out there that will accept you with having to show no results, no payments, anything like that. Okay. Some don't might say interview required and you put in your application and you just get accepted right away. All right. So get into CPA networks, pick out niche and offers. So once you're inside, you need to be seeing what niche you want to run. What niche do you want to basically be a part of is it going to be you know the biz op niche is going to be you know rent to own is it going to be uh health fitness uh weight loss type offers like there's so many different type of offers so what i want you to first focus on is a niche focus on what type of offers do you see yourself running okay because there are a bunch of different categories and what i don't want you to do is get scatterbrained and be um in this niche one day this niche the next day it's like you know focus on one niche at a time oh i'm just giving you the best tip because this is what i did guys the first niche that i put my focus on was biz op and i truly believe that's one of the easiest niches online because who doesn't want to make money online right it's one of the easiest niches to probably get a conversion in, especially if you're doing something like a simple type offer, like a single opt-in offer or something like that, okay? Next thing you want to do is you want to move into setting up your ad accounts, right? You want to know with that niche offer, what best traffic source will go well with that offer? Match your traffic source to the actual niche, right? So um, for, let's say, make money online type niche and stuff like that um does well on uh, facebook ads so i chose facebook ads i studied the facebook ads. set up my facebook ad account set up the pixel set up the domains um you want to get your landing page software you want to get your tracking software whatever you're going to need to make sure that your campaign can get up and running and you can get a link that's what you're going to need you gonna need, you may need landing pages and it, it could be any niche guys i just want you guys to focus on doing these this setup because this is what's gonna get you to the next level, right? And that next level is simply gonna be your co competitive intelligence, right? And that's gonna be where you can either purchase ad spying tools, so whatever traffic search you're gonna be running on, you could purchase ad spying software for that specific ad platform, right? And what you could do is you could also do manual research tactics, so you may not have to purchase any software. You know, you have free things for Facebook ads, such as ad library, creative library. Um, you can reverse engineer affiliate ads and things like that to just, um, and that's basically like just clicking on different um, 
just clicking ads that you see guys now of course if it's like an e-commerce product you know okay this is an e-commerce product but it's like, it's like the same concept you know if you wanted to run a successful e-commerce store you would just go out there and see what other people are selling what's doing really well for other people's stores and then you basically import the product for yourself and sell it yourself right so it's, it's the same logic if you want to have a successful cpa affiliate campaign what you need to go do is see what other cpa affiliates are doing what offers are they running where are they running at right and research around on these different ad network platforms whether you're doing it manually whether you're getting spy tools you may have to invest guys i invested thousands of dollars in just ad spying tools just to see uh, and get a feel of the marketplace just get a feel of an affiliate ad to get a feel of what affiliates are doing how the space is working um, what the what type of ads are they running? What type of landing pages are there? How do I create this landing page for myself, guys? Right? And so you're going to be gathering all of um, this knowledge, right? You're going to be either putting it into a notes uh, spreadsheet or a, a, a notepad on your computer, you know, just copy the links over. However you want to do it, you want to make sure you're keeping these resources here because this is going to get you to the next level, which is going to be your campaign creation, right? Which is going to be setting up the landing page, creating two to three different ad examples, adding campaign details to tracker, getting links and testing links, making sure they're working properly. And why do I say working properly? Because what happens is I see a, a lot of times people and this happens a lot in my culture program where people will just spend, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars before they get back on a call me. And then like, by the time I check their stats and everything, I'm like, okay, pull up your BMI, pull up your volume. And it, it has nothing. It's no stats. It's no tracking. And I'm just like, what happened? And it's like, oh, well, I noticed that links were coming through, but you know, I figured, you know, Hey, just, like, it's no big deal, but I'm telling you, you're wasting money if you're doing it like that. Right. Let's just say you're running the ads on propeller ads or something like that, or, zero part ads and you spend four hundred dollars and you get maybe two hundred dollars in conversions and you're like okay i just need to optimize yeah i'm just looking forward to optimize I just want to see and i can't see anything we can't optimize so basically that that be, is a waste of money at this point it's usually a waste of money because it's like you can't see any stats you can't pull okay where did exactly did this conversion come from the post back tracking is all wrong so what you got to do is you got to pretty much test all over again. You got to spend the money all over again and it's just wasted budget. So that's why it's making sure your links working properly. And that's just not for tracking. That's for also making sure the landing page button is, you know, working properly. Test out your landing page. Make sure when people click on your actual landing page, it's taking them to the actual offer. Some of that stuff be wrong. And I've seen it a numerous times. So I don't want to harp on it too much because some of you guys aren't newbies and like, hey, I know how to set up my campaign. But honestly, this is a video for people who maybe are just getting started. If you feel like you're already further along, you should already be running and gunning with this information. So, I mean, you can use this as a refresher, but you kind of already know what to do. So you just get up on it. All right. So set up the landing page, create two to three ad examples, add campaign details to tracker. All right. And it's basically going to be adding your affiliate network, adding your offer um, into the tracker, all that stuff, like, right? You setting up everything, create two to three ad examples. If you don't have, like, ad creation skills or you find yourself, it's taking you too long, you've been working on creating ads for a week, what I want you to do is I just want you to go to Fiverr and just type in wherever Facebook ad creation or um, TikTok ad creation. Find somebody who can make your campaign for you. Find somebody who can make ads for you. And all you have to do is give them the links, give them the landing page you want to use and tell them, hey, I need you to create an ad or say you're struggling with landing page creation. What you can do is find somebody who can create landing pages for you. There are people out there where you just type in landing page creation and they will make a landing page for you. You can ask them, it can be some copy on it, it can be a simple button click lander. Um, it can be a page you found online and you wanna replicate it, but you don't know how to replicate it. You may can't do it with ClickFunnels. So what you may have to do is you may have to host it on your domain. So you may need a web, a web developer, right? And these are things you have to consider when running this type of business because yes, when it comes to campaign creation, you know, it, it, it does, that, this is the most technical part, right? Setting everything up, getting your links working, making sure that it actually is a page that can actually convert for your actual niche. And what you want to do is just make sure that's all set up. If you have to hire help, hire help, but that's going to lead into the next thing, which is launching and testing, right? So you want to set a budget for testing. So how you're going to do that is you're going to start your initial ad test with different targeting and ad variations. So remember I said to create two to three different ad examples, 
So from there, what you want to do is you want to start initial ad tests with those two to three so you can keep targeting fairly similar and then you can just switch up just the ad, right? And then you can have different targeting to different ads, right? You just basically want to have at least, if I say two to three ad examples, your variations should be at least three to five different ads, right? Three to five different ads on the initial test. And this doesn't have to be big budget. I'm not saying come out here. That's why I'm saying set a budget for testing because this can be, if you have a very, very small budget, this can be $5. So you look five times, let's say three ads, that's $15 a day in ad spend. So that's why you need to set a budget for testing. How much and how long do you want to test before you start looking into the next phase, which we'll get into, right? So you may have a $1,000 ad budget. So you want to spend maybe in the first week you want to spend two hundred dollars for the first week so you need to do a hundred divided by you know seven and then that can be your daily budget and you divide that by uh three to get the amount for how much you want to spend per ad you know if you're launching a three ad test or five ad test so your initial test three to five ads and then from there what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're sticking to a certain budget because I don't just want to be like, oh, just let it run, let it collect data because I say gather data, but you want to gather data with a budget in mind because you don't want to overspend in case it's not, you know, a working campaign because what you're trying to see is you're first trying to make sure you're getting actual clicks, right? So you want to make sure you're getting clicks to your actual landing page. Now, if you're not getting any clicks on your ad to your landing page, then you know hey, like something's wrong with my ad. So you go and you edit the ad. And some of you may not have a landing page and you may be going direct. So it's even simpler for you. So, right? All you have to do is just make sure you have an ad that's converting or you may be doing redirect traffic where it's going straight to your lander. So you need to make sure that lander is converting. Are people going from the lander to the actual offer? How many people have hit that lander? How many people got to the actual offer, right? So it's gonna be different things you're testing within this initial test. But the first thing that you will be testing, make sure that the ad is converting because that's gonna be your frontline soldier. That's gonna be the main thing that's gonna keep your campaign going, the money flowing, right? You need working ads. So the, once you figure out what ad is working, which we are, um, which is the next level, cut and scale, look for a clear winner. If similar stats test longer, make the budget a little higher so you can get more people coming in, seeing those ads and seeing, okay, which ones are really uh, gathering attention, getting the click basically that I need the engagement. Um, it, it depends on the traffic source that you're running on you'll look for different things when it comes to optimization and stuff like that so i don't want to dive too much into optimization because it's 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 ad network specific right but you want to create similar ads to the winner and launch with same target so once you find that winning audience that's responding and clicking on the ad going to the actual landing page what you want to do is you want to target more of those people and you want to hit them with another angle that's similar to you want to hit them with a similar angle to the winning ad so whether it's a text ad whether it's a short form video ad um whether it's a just a photo post whatever type of ad it is a native ad uh where it's just different copy headline you may want to just split the image same type headline like you want to keep the elements the same with the ad but you just want to change it like slightly with a little better keywording. That's why I say uh, words that sell, phrases that sell. That's why I use these type of books to come up with more um, phrases and things like that so that I'm able to remix ads, but in a similar way. Even with ChatGPT, you can use ChatGPT. You can ask them for different variations of um, a certain copy and things like that, and they'll spit you out ideas, guys. I've been doing that a lot lately, so I definitely want to include that. You want to test winners with target variations. So what I mean by winners is basically your winning ad ads that you are getting people to respond to. You want to test it with more audience, guys, because you want more people to come in. So whether you're building a pixel, you just want to make sure that you're getting more of those people in. And then from there, once you have people clicking over to your landing page, all you need to do is just make sure your landing page is converting and optimizing the mess out of your landing page so that you're getting the most people to go through to the actual offer. And of course you want conversions. You want that offer to convert. So you wanna make sure your landing page is pre-selling them 
very, very well so that they complete the action on the next page. And hopefully the actions is some simple guys, because making $10,000 a month is easy. You can do that with one offer, an email offer. It doesn't matter guys. So much traffic out there is possible, right? Like I said, in my previous videos about, um, you know, budgeting ROI and stuff like that, guys, you're just looking for a certain ROI on this. And you want to look for a clear winner and cut off the things that are losing, cut off the things that are just kind of lagging behind a winning ad. You see one ad got a 20% click-through rate and the other ad got 10% click-through rate. Like, yeah, you'd be like, okay, I'm getting 10%, but why not focus all your efforts on that 20% and try to come f launch another ad that's closer to that 20% or try to beat out that 20%. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm going to beat out the 20% click-through rate so that I can you get to 30% click through rate, right? You want to constantly be trying to beat out your, your ad. And that's why I'm saying you want to launch with same targeting, launch more, keep launching with the same targeting and try to beat your previous ad, right? So that's kind of the process of, of scaling in a, in a broad sense without getting, having to get uh, ad network specific, but guys, that's all I got for this video. Of course, if you want private coaching, you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me where we hop on a call and I basically walk you through campaign creation walk you through launching and testing and everything. If you're interested in that, definitely hit me up and we can get you started with that. But that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.